Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back. My name is Nitro, and I want to go ahead and give you guys a warning that if you come here for the funny moments and the compilation videos, and you don't want to dive into a video that's not really upbeat, I'm just going to kindly ask you to go ahead and click off of this video now. This is not going to be an upbeat video. This is for some of my true fans, uh, some people I know in real life, and for other people out there who are struggling and maybe think they're alone or just aren't aren't doing good right now. So please, if you don't like deep kind of you know morbid commentaries, please go ahead and click off of this video. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. So I said I wanted to do more commentaries, and this is one I came up with that is really appealing to me right now. And although me and Matt love to joke around on this channel and make jokes, and usually depression is the butt end of many jokes, uh, most notably the I'll say something and Matt will go, oh, it's because you're depressed, and then I'll usually respond back with, fuck you, no I'm not. Um, I am going to be reading off a document because this is really long and I don't want to get sidetracked in this. I want to go straight forward. Um, I typed this up a couple days ago. So let's just get into it. So although I only have just under two decades worth of life experience, I would say I've experienced quite a bit in that time. And I want to speak not only from a personal perspective, but actually go out and see how other people with similar stories to mine feel to, to see if we match up in our feelings. So as most people know, uh, you have many different lives. Uh, for me personally, it was my life at school, my life around my friends, my life at work, my life around my family, my life around my best friends, and my life around my intimate relationships. All these lives are quite different but yet they were bound together by the same history and the same shell carrying them around. And I would honestly say out of all of these, nobody really knows who I am but me. I let people close, but never there. I'm not too sure why, honestly. Maybe something deeply rooted in my head thinks that people are leave or something like that. I would honestly say the person who knows me the most besides me is probably Matt. Everyone knows Matt here on the channel. Uh, we've been friends for years and although we have disagreements at times and we'll argue, uh, I know he'll always have my back and be there should I ever need him. It's human nature to hide behind masks as I call them. Completely different personas to conform to what other people like or expect of you. I'm fairly positive that every human does it. But we never take the time to think if somebody else is doing that exact thing when we're around them. Yeah, sure, some people are snakes, but that's not what I'm referring to. To quote the late great Robin Williams, I think the saddest people always try their hardest to make people happy because they know what it's like to feel absolutely worthless and don't want anyone else to feel like that. This is a great quote and one that is almost undeniably true. Uh, I felt two stages of that in my life. One where it's like being trapped in a soundproof room screaming for help but nobody can hear or see that you're in pain and you need someone or something to come and just help. The second is knowing how bad things are going in your head and putting on a mask that portrays that everything is going great and on the other side you're secretly hoping that maybe someone will see through one of the cracks you purposefully left in that mask just to see if they'll take the time to care enough to get under the mask and ask what's going on. My personal problem with this was that whenever somebody did I would push them away. Anyone that knows me in real life knows I have a fuck that attitude, you know, just a fuck anything attitude. And on some days, you know, it's true. I would like to think that that's not a persona I put on, that, that it's true. And some days it is, but other days, uh, it's like I'm trapped inside my own head and I'm not even controlling my body. I've experienced quite a bit of that, uh, especially in high school. Um, doesn't everyone, but I, I don't know. I feel like for me it was pretty bad. 
Uh, I especially felt it most of my junior and senior year. Um, I just felt trapped in negative thoughts for days and often weeks on end. I've coped with it in many different ways in my life. Uh, back when I was a freshman, I would pop pain pills just to get away from the world for a little bit. And that actually led to me developing an opioid addiction, which I've since kicked, but it was still pretty bad. My sophomore year, I was able to lose myself in law enforcement, which helped me find some sort of safe place from the outside world for a couple hours every other day. I also found refuge in tennis. Uh, junior year was a bit more of the same with tennis, but that's also when I got into a relationship and honestly looking back I took a lot of my frustrations out on her and you should never do that, but I didn't know what to do. I felt trapped and I just, I, I didn't know. I was, you know, I just felt hopeless. I'm trying to find where I was. I lost it because I stopped reading off my page there for a minute. Um, I didn't know what else to do. I was hopeless and quite honestly still am. Although it's rare, I find refuge now. I was doing alright for a while when I was grinding for the chrome camos. Uh, and the frustration there was just the challenge of getting all of the camos. Yet I found some sort of escape in it. But now looking on what I currently have, I'm alone, I've dropped out of college, I'm in a gaming rut where I just don't feel like playing anything, but I also have just absolutely nothing else to do, and it feels like I don't have an escape. It's like I told Matt the night I wrote this, that when the song Heavy starts to become exactly like your life, you really need help. And honestly, sitting here typing this out has helped me escape for just a little bit, but the worst part is knowing how inevitable it is that everything just goes back to normal and that I'll be trapped in a cage in my own head alone and nobody will really help, all while I, all while I indulge myself in self-destructive behavior that will honestly probably drive me towards death, which is also coincidentally my greatest fear. I wish I could describe what it's like more than just being trapped in your own head, but that's honestly what it is. I don't really want to call it depression just because depression is a medical condition and I'm pretty sure people who actually uh, have depression are a thousand times worse off than I am. So I just go back into the same old routine of keeping my feelings and who I am to myself because somebody else has it worse so I shouldn't have anything to complain about. And that's what I wrote the other night. Uh, now I'm just going to go off the top of my head for a little bit. So for the next couple, for the next like minute of this gameplay, I just want to talk off the, off the notes that, you know, this is completely true. I'm, I've experienced this for a while and yeah, sure. It comes and goes. I guess you could kind of say it's somewhat bipolar. I, you know, but bipolar is months at a time and I mean there have been a couple times where it's just been a whole month worth of just I haven't felt good I felt like everything was going against me that no one was there for me that I was alone and it's unfortunate it, it's I don't do too good at talking about my own feelings uh, so it usually helps writing them down because me trying to speak them um, any of my ex-girlfriends will tell you I'm emotionally inarticulate and that's something I really struggle with. Uh, I just, it's something I really struggle with and I'm even repeating stuff now. But I wanted to make this video to let you know that you're not alone. I feel this, a lot of people have these feelings and maybe seeing nice comments and all that will really help. But I really just needed to get my feelings out there and I stop hiding from you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe. I promise not all my videos are depressing like this one. Peace out.